Hello everyone, and welcome. Today, we're going to talk about why you should think twice before installing Windows 11 on unsupported PCs. The title of our presentation is Why You Should Not Install Windows 11 on Unsupported PCs, and we'll also cover what you need to be careful about before making the switch. So in the next few minutes, I'll walk you through the main reasons to consider potential risks and what you should keep in mind. Let's get started. So let's talk about what counts as unsupported when it comes to installing Windows 11. If you've tried to install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC, you might be walking into some hidden pitfalls, and there are a few key points Microsoft often doesn't highlight. First, there's the TPM2, or Trusted Platform Module. This is a security feature that helps protect your data and ensures your device's integrity. It's required for Windows 11 security features like BitLocker encryption and Windows Hello facial recognition. Many older computers only have TPM 1.2 or sometimes no TPM at all, which can be a problem. Without TPM 2, the Windows 11 installation process will typically block the setup from proceeding. So, if your PC isn't equipped with TPM2, that's a major obstacle. Next, let's look at Secure Boot. This is a security feature that makes sure only trusted operating system components load during startup. It helps prevent malicious software from running before Windows starts. Many legacy BIOS systems either don't have Secure Boot or have it disabled by default. And importantly, Windows 11 requires Secure Boot to be enabled to verify that the boot process is secure and unaltered. So in summary, if your PC isn't meeting these requirements, specifically TPM2 and Secure Boot, you're essentially walking into a trap that could compromise your device's security or prevent the installation altogether. These are critical components that support Windows 11 security architecture and are essential for a smooth, supported experience. Let's talk about CPU generation limits when it comes to Windows 11. Microsoft officially supports specific CPU generations. For Intel, that's the 8th generation and newer, and for AMD, it's the Ryzen 2000 series and newer. If you're using older CPUs, you'll find that Windows 11 may still run, but you're likely to be blocked from receiving updates or might see it flagged as unsupported. Now, there are tools out there like Fly by 11 or Rufus, that can help bypass these restrictions. They typically work by modifying the registry or the ISO file to skip the hardware checks during installation. This means you can install Windows 11 on unsupported devices. However, keep in mind, while this can be useful for testing or evaluation, the updates might break later on, and stability isn't guaranteed. As Microsoft itself reminds us, just because you manage to install Windows 11 doesn't mean it will stay stable in the long run. So, it's important to weigh the risks if you're considering bypassing these hardware requirements. This ties into our overall theme of understanding compatibility and the risks involved in working outside official support parameters. All right, let's talk about an important update coming up in June 2026. Microsoft has announced that the Secure Boot Certificates which are essential for ensuring a trusted and secure startup process on Windows, are going to start expiring. These certificates play a critical role because they verify the integrity of the operating system at boot time. If these certificates aren't updated before they expire, there could be some serious issues. For example, your PC might fail to boot securely, which could prevent you from accessing your system altogether. Additionally, firmware-level security features which help protect your device from low-level threats, might stop working properly. And perhaps most concerning, pre-boot malware protection could be compromised, exposing your system to potential threats before the OS even loads. So this expiration is a key point to keep in mind as part of our overall security and maintenance planning. Staying ahead of these certificate expirations ensures your devices remain secure and operational. Why is this a big deal for unsupported PCs? Well, many of these systems often don't get official firmware updates from their OEMs. That means they might never receive the necessary updates to their secure boot certificates. And even if Windows gets updated, the firmware, whether it's UEFI or BIOS, also needs to be updated to trust those new certificates. 
This creates a real risk starting mid-2026, because if the firmware isn't updated, your system could face boot failures. Now, let's talk about Legacy Boot and why it's crucial to understand. Legacy Boot uses BIOS instead of UEFI, and it doesn't support Secure Boot, which is a security feature that verifies OS integrity before starting up. Many older PCs, especially those built before 2012, rely on Legacy Boot for compatibility. But here, the key point, Legacy Boot isn't just outdated, it's become a ticking time bomb. After June 2026, if your PC is still using Legacy Boot and can't validate secure boot certificates, it might simply refuse to boot at all. So understanding these concepts is essential as we move toward that deadline. So why does June 2026 matter? Well, it's a critical date because Microsoft's secure boot certificates are set to start expiring then. These certificates are actually embedded right into the UEFI firmware of your PC, and their main job is to validate trusted OS loaders, ensuring that your system boots securely. Now, for systems that use legacy boot instead of UEFI, there's an important limitation to keep in mind. They can't utilize secure boot at all, which means they won't get the necessary certificate updates. As a result, these systems might face some serious issues. For example, they could fail to boot newer versions of Windows, or in some cases, they might be blocked from receiving future updates or security patches, leaving them more vulnerable. Now, this brings us to the risks for those using legacy boot. Unsupported PCs may encounter boot failures once those certificates rotate or expire. That could leave you unable to install or update Windows 11, which is a pretty big problem if you want to stay current and secure. Additionally, you might lose access to recovery tools or rollback options, which are essential for troubleshooting or restoring your system if something goes wrong. Overall, this is a key point in our broader discussion about keeping systems secure and up to date. It's important to understand that the expiration of these certificates isn't just a technical detail. It can directly impact your ability to keep your device running smoothly and securely in the future. So what can you actually do in this situation? Let's walk through the options. First, if you're running a legacy BIOS without secure boot, it's a bit more vulnerable, so consider upgrading to UEFI. If you're already using UEFI but without secure boot, enabling secure boot can provide an extra layer of security. For those with UEFI and secure boot enabled, you're already in a good spot, but it's important to keep everything updated. Now, based on your setup, my recommendation is to either stay on Windows 10 with extended security updates if you need more time, or switch to Linux for a more open and flexible environment. If your hardware supports it, definitely enable Secure Boot. This helps protect your system from certain types of malware. And finally, always keep your firmware and Windows system up to date. These updates patch security vulnerabilities and ensure your system runs smoothly. Ultimately, the goal is to stay protected. Whether that's through secure boot, keeping everything current, or choosing an operating system that fits your security needs.